out here at the Missouri Gulch Trailhead. Today, you're gonna to be hiking 14er Mount Belford. For a full trail guide of Mount Belford, you can check the link in the description below. Here with Juno in the late fall, some snow on the mountains, which should make it extra beautiful up there. That starts here at the same trailhead as Missouri. Reshooting this video because the last time I did it, the wind was so bad, you couldn't understand anything I was saying. Juno's been cooped inside for about 10 days, so this should be really fun dealing with her absurd levels of energy today. If you've never hiked in this area before, just know there is zero warm up. You immediately start climbing, and honestly, you won't stop until you hit Belford. First climb done, second one up here through this avalanche path and eventually that way. Give you an update, just about a little over a mile in and over a thousand feet of climbing so far. So like I said, it's steep. Remains of an old hunting or mining cabin here. And after this point, you're gonna pretty much leave tree line for the rest of the day. Now is a good spot to make sure the weather's good, make sure you're feeling good, because after this point, you're pretty much going to be exposed to the elements the entire hike. Emerging from the trees here, you got Belford right in front of you. This is my third time up in this basin this year, and these views never get old. So you got Missouri right in front of you there, and obviously Belford off to your left. And there'll be a trail junction I'll show you in a second. Just over two miles in, you're gonna have your first and only trail junction of the day. Even though Juno is rearing to go right, we are going left. As you can see in front of us here, even though the sun's kind of in the way, that's the route. It's gonna be a straight switchback climb. So even though you're at 11.6 right now, you still have over uh, 1,700 feet of climbing. This is definitely going to be slow going and very, very steep. Maybe about a quarter of the way up. So it's really just switch back, switch back, switch back. Summit. Do you like the snow? Yeah. Did you miss the snow? Yeah. BRB, going to China. It's been a long time since I've hiked uh, Belford here. It's a bitch. This is a tough, 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 tough section. Just relentless switchbacks. It's okay. Even Juno doesn't like it. My original plan was to do Belford and Oxford, but I am just woefully out of shape, moving so, so slow. So I'm just gonna tag Belford today and be happy with that if I can get there. Okay, on the upper section now, might be able to see a hiker right about there. So your end goal is to kind of gain this gap and then go left. Beautiful, beautiful day up here, even though I'm getting my ass kicked by the mountain.
above 13k now uh, a bit more snow up here so let's quickly talk about gear for this hike in the summer you'll just need a 14er kit which i'll link in the description below hiking shoes hiking boots totally fine as you get towards the later fall early winter definitely spring late spring early summer you're gonna need micro spikes potentially a mountain axe as well and uh, depending on the snow, even crampons, because this is really steep slope. To help support the channel and shop all virtual Sherpa gear, you can check the links in the description below, and in addition to everything I'm using here today. As you get up to the final saddle here, you're going to be aiming for this notch and then going left. I'm wiped. Woof. So about, so far, three miles, 4,000 feet of elevation gain. Brutal. Beautiful. Missouri, emerald, gorgeous. From here, you're just gonna take a left and head straight up to the top of Belford, about 300 vertical feet away. Summit right there, about 100 yards away. Oh man. This one just destroyed me. Kicked my ass. 14 or number 101. I felt like the first one. Woof. Proud of Juno. She's literally carried us up the mountain today. the summit of Oxford right there. It's about another mile or so and another 1500 feet of elevation gain so not in the cards for uh, me and Juno today but still enjoying the beautiful views from the summit of uh, Belford here. So just leaving Belford now about four miles to the summit, 4,500 feet of elevation. Man, this is a tough one, but beautiful up here. This will probably be my last 14er of the season for sure. Maybe my last high peak. I just don't really enjoy this time of year very much, as beautiful as it is. But so we're gonna head down, and once there's less wind, I'll wrap up this video. But enjoy some more views. That's going to wrap up my video here on Mount Belford. Remember, you got a long, steep way down. So save your knees, save your energy. It's going to be a tough one. But 14124, I think, summit of Belford. And uh, yeah, a beautiful day in the, the end of the season, for me at least. If you're new to my channel, I do virtual trail guides of the 14ers. Check out that playlist. I have all of them. This is 101, as I mentioned. So you can binge away there. As always, I have a full trail guide, A to Z, everything you need to know about this hike and uh, much more information from a logistics point of view linked in the description below as well. Thank you very much for watching. 
I really appreciate all the support. And uh, yeah, as always, we'll see you on the next adventure. Good girl. Good job. <laughs>